Listen, I know some of y'all boys are tired of grinding y'all's badges. Hit up Wish Grinders for the fastest and most legit badge grinding service. He would not disappoint, man. You can hit him up on Twitter or Instagram. Link's going to be down below in the description. Let him know the way he sent you. Let's get right into this banger, y'all. Run up, done up. Remember, I pray for the sun up. Do some meeting, I go run up. All of these bitches was fronters. I trapped on the eight, I trapped on the four. I'm ducking like all under covers. And now she won't fuck me because she see the money, but I can't be trusting in nothing. And I gotta watch when I lay low. They wanna come for me, stack on my pesos. Bro, post stayed up with the Draco. If he run up, then we knocking his face off. She wanna know my shoes, cause walk in the morning, I'm buying out G stuff. Baby girl said that she loved me, but she always cry when I leave her. Yo, what's good, YouTube? It's your boy Wavy, and we're back with another video for y'all. Now, this is a build video. I want y'all to see this build because y'all been asking for it like crazy. It's the two way pass first point. That's what the build is. It's the Hall of Fame defense, Hall of Fame shooting. And uh, yeah, he's he gets a 99 speed with Hall of Fame defense, Hall of Fame shooting. It's really lit, bro. He's really good build. I'm gonna show y'all this gameplay, then I'm gonna go ahead and go to the build, and then I'm gonna go ahead and show y'all the badges that I use. Now, mine is only a 91. When he gets maxed, low key, this is one of the best guard builds. Low key, not many people use them, and uh, most people use the two way three level facilitator if they use this, this type of build. But this one just has a longer wingspan, but it's the same thing. He's at 6'3, he's crazy fast. Really good build, y'all. But I'm only a 91, and uh, my ball control is only 75 here, but y'all can still see how uh, fast I am and how great I can actually score, even if uh, somebody has pretty good defense. Now, he shoots a white, but he goes right in. So, uh, we already know how 2K is going to do us this game. It's all good, though. Y'all know we still got to catch that W. With this build, bro, defense is really easy right there. Now, if I got uh, stuck behind the little screen, but... Defense is crazy, especially Joey's on his perimeter lot. So we have two defensive uh, builds. He misses right here. Joey gets the board, and now it's time to cook up. Now, first possession, I'm going to go ahead and try to give me a three. That's what I like to do with this build. He can finish, so he ends up getting over at 80, dropping dunk. But you see me step back, you already know what color that is. Big greens, but don't leave me open on any build as big greens. By the way, I'm using jump shot 38 in this whole video with Hall of Fame quick draw. And I'm using get off me as my uh, celebration, but y'all already know what jump shot I'd be using. Unless I have custom jump shot created, then I do use my custom, which I already have it posted. Now, Joey throws a bad pass, but this is what I like about this build. He has a 90 something steal. Watch this right here. Playing good D, I reach and instantly get the steal. That's what I like about this build. No pickpocket or anything yet, but uh, like I said, bro, easy steals. Throw it to Joey, he misses. But it's all good. He pulls up, gets another green. It's 9 6. We should be winning right now. But Joey was having a rough start, yo. But it's all right. Now, I did go with Playmaking Takeover on this build. Y'all don't have to. I'm going to show y'all the whole build video at the uh, end. The whole build tutorial, exactly like I made mine. But y'all don't have to go with the same takeover and everything as me. This is mainly for content. When I choose Playmaking Takeover, it's mainly for clips and stuff. Normally, I would go with slash and takeover or probably sharpshooting, but you actually don't get sharpshooting takeover takeover on this build for some reason. You probably got to lower the wingspan. So uh, I would either go with playmaking or uh, slashing, or you can go with lock. Of course, lock is always good. But for uh, clips and stuff, I had to go with the playmaking, y'all. And if you choose slashing, you're most likely going to get some contact dunks with it. Watch bigger. But you most likely get some contact dunks because your dunk is like a 77 to start off. And that slash and takeover gives you a plus 10. So that, that should make you be able to dunk on people. Probably not all the time because you don't get the animations. But uh, you should definitely get a couple contact dunks. You see I step back again. Big green. And uh, they really just can't guard it, y'all. And y'all going to see I just got my takeover. So I'm going to be trying to break people now. Y'all already know how that goes. Playmaking takeover isn't the best, but when it does work, it is pretty fun to use. Now, right here, you can see he's hold, he held his nuts some. Trying to snatch him back. I thought he should have fell right there, but it's all good. I hit Joey. He threw it right back for some reason. But for some reason, they only guard me. I threw it right back to him. He gets a big green. Now, watch. The center is going to get switched on to me in a second. And I'm about to make that boy fall on his knees, bro. Hold on. He reaches right there. As soon as we get the ball back right here, I'm pretty sure center gets switched on to me. You already know what time it is. I had to cook the center, bro. 
So I get the ball for some reason. I don't know why they switched. I have no idea. There was no reason to. But watch this right here. Try to hit him with a snatch. Didn't get him. Did it again. Still didn't get him. Now, one last time. And he started to reach. Now, I had to just go ahead and take the dunk. I had to go ahead and take the dunk. So it's 919. I had to get the easy bucket. Now, here comes the ankle breaker, y'all. This is the reason why I most mostly pick this badge on uh, builds like this. For one, it helps you speed boost. And uh, for two, it just helps overall breaking angles and stuff. And uh, the uh, playmaking takeover makes you dump like crazy quick. Plus the uh, slashing takeover does as well. But you see, snatched him. He tried to get up and fell again. I passed out to my boy Joey for a big green. And now y'all can see what that build can do. It's crazy good on uh, defense as well, even though we didn't have to play defense that much. But let's go ahead and get right into this build video for y'all. All right, y'all. Let me go ahead and turn this number down to five because you already know we're rocking. We're not rocking with the 42, bro. But this is the two-way pass first point once again, y'all. Really good build, especially uh, if you like the offensive threat. This is kind of like offensive threat with more defense. No, you do not get contact dunks unless you choose slash and take over. You might be able to get a couple, but I'm not promising, y'all. But y'all see the stats. Very balanced build, bro. All around, really balanced build. The ball handle. You can make this build to where it's going to speed boost more than mine. But I made mine to where I wanted longer wingspan. I wanted those steals. I wanted to be able to get all the blocks that I could possible. You know, just be able to clamp somebody all the way on defense. So that's exactly what I made this build for. Now you can go with the other ones if y'all want, but I definitely prefer the top. You need to go with the top. Yeah, just don't go with any of the other ones. Go with the top. Get that 91 speed, 80, 89 acceleration. My bad, I can't read go ahead and max this out you want to get six finishing that's all you need bro fancy footwork slithery finisher or you can go slithery finisher and uh contact finisher but it's just whatever you uh want we're just gonna go ahead and take the still up lateral quickness perimeter defense and we got to take the uh interior defense up just a little bit in just a second there we go get that up to 20 at least now playmaking go ahead and max out that ball control you i know we can't leave that down Pass accuracy has got to go all the way up as well. Now you see I got 10, so I'm going to go up just enough to get 12. Now once we get 12, we're going to quit messing with that. Go ahead and max your shooting right here. Except for your post fade, y'all. Y'all don't want to max your post fade because you 16, Hall of Fame. Yeah, that's definitely good enough. Now you'll see you got a couple of extra. You can put it on whatever you want. I'll just throw mine on interior defense because I'm pretty sure that you can't get another badge in any category. Maybe finishing. I don't know. But right here, y'all can choose whatever you want. Y'all know body type don't matter that much. I choose compact. I think it looks the best. Now, if y'all want to go taller, go for it, but you're going to be slower. I chose 6'3". Like I said, this is an offensive threat build with more defense, pretty much. I've seen a whole lot of people be using this build now. Except they're using the two-way three-level facilitator. That's with the uh, wingspan down. Now, I prefer putting my wingspan up. Even though I'm a little slower, it's all good because I still got a 99 speed, 99 celebration once I hit 99. And uh, I already have gym right, y'all. So that also puts you at a 90 vertical. Now, y'all get to choose this. This is all on you. But I prefer playmaking takeover or slashing takeover. Once again, y'all can go with lock. I wouldn't go with shot creating unless you just really like to fade. But that's on y'all. As you can see, two-way pass first point. I'm going to go ahead and show y'all the badges I rock on this build. I don't have my max all the way out, but I have most of the uh, shooting badges. And I think I got most of the finishing. And I got like 11 or 12 uh, out of the 20 defense. But finishing, you need to go contact finisher and uh, fancy or slithery in the contact or this is what i rock though i don't even use contact finisher because i'm not trying to dunk on nobody i'm just trying to uh, get to the rim when i'm open right here green machine on silver y'all just go ahead and slap it on silver now you can do dead eye or you can do volume shooter or you can even take hot zone hunter off it's your preference bro but i love hot zone uh hot zone hunter i have hot zones around the whole court almost so i always use that on uh hall of fame now right here there's not very many badges you're gonna need, especially on this build. Go ahead and make these bronze at least, bell out, needle thread, all of that. And then you can either use floor general or Dahmer. Do whatever you want. It's all preference, y'all. I just slap mine on Dahmer. And uh, for the defense, now this is where this build is interesting. I don't have my block up, 
but I was still throwing Chase Down Artists because it unlocks certain animations. Clamps Hall of Fame, Intimidator Hall of Fame. Interceptor, I only use mine on silver normally because I put mine on Hall of Fame. I was getting more steals on silver, so I put mine back on silver, but like I said, it's y'all's preference, y'all's badges, y'all do what y'all want, man. I'm just, uh, this is what I usually rock, something, something around this. You don't need all these Hall of Fame, but, uh, yeah, this is what I use pretty much. I throw a rebound chase on bronze just to let my dude go get boards more. But, yeah, y'all can choose y'all's badges and everything. This is what I've been rocking on this build. Appreciate everybody watching this build video. Let me know if there's any builds that y'all like or if there's any different version of this build that y'all like. And I'm out, man. Peace.